Hi, today I'd like to demonstrate an experiment in string art. And what you'll need is some string. You'll also need two identical sized canvases. So this I've used for some poor art and I'm just going to experiment with it. I just sewed over the top of it. So this actually poses, um, it has some texture already in it, which I want to keep. And you need some paints, which uh, you can make the fluid type paints. So you need them to be a little runny or loose. I use this, um, when I want to experiment with the fluid stuff, I use the cheap craft apple barrels and plaids and other stuff like that because it's already really running and I don't have to use any medium. Now, what I propose you do, it's up to you how long you want the string, but you will leave a portion of the string about an inch and a half to two inches so that you can hold it or handle it. If you want to make it a little bit more um, fancy, you can just knot the ends of the string and that's where you'll hold it just tie a knot on it and it'll make it easier to maneuver the other thing is you can tie the strings together if you like however I leave them loose I definitely want it longer than the canvas I'm working on what I generally do is just kinda lay the string on there to measure it how long I want it and that's a good general um, length right there for this small canvas and then I just cut as many strings as needed for the number of colors paints that I'm going to use another trick that I do is I put the paints these are some short ones short bottles so I put the paint uh, excuse me the string directly into the paint bottle you can use a little pour cups if you like now as you notice it's a piece of string this is the part I'll be handling so I always leave it over the edge cap the bottle not all the way you don't have to cap it all the way and then just shake it a little do all of them that way they should be pretty saturated now I'm using three colors I would recommend using no less than three but that's up to you depends on your color palette or what you're going to do so I have three colors here and all I'm going to do is pull the string out and lay it on this palette however you want to lay it excuse me not palette lay it on the canvas you don't need a whole lot of paint but you need enough you're going to make an impression this one is rather thick and you just lay it down on there move the paints to the side and then we're going to take this other canvas and lay it on top. The one thing you want to make sure of, really you should make sure of, is that you're able to grip both um, ends of the string. And one I am, I lost my other one. There it is there. So both ends of the string should be somewhere off the canvas because you're going to have to pull the both of them at the same time. You lay the canvas on top. And what you don't want to do is um, lose your string. Excuse me. Now, I'm not sure. I'm hoping you can see everything. Now you begin to pull. That's the yellow one. I'm going to pull it in this direction. You don't have to press it down super tight. I'm going to pull the red one that way. I 
think it's getting caught on my texture. And then the last string, I'm going to pull it this direction. You're doing your painting as you're pulling the string. I have no idea what it's going to look like. I'm hoping, and it's not going to be, I shouldn't hope against that hope because the purple and the yellow mustardy color are going to mix and make a brown. I didn't really want that much brown. You can press it down a little if you like. and then uncover. If I move this messy, there's a lot of paint on there, which is really nice. As you can see, There you have it, and as you see, they're identical. It's almost like the Rorschach test on the ink bots. They're identical because you kept them together as you move the string. It creates some interesting movement in here without even trying. And we let that sit up and dry. The great part, I'm not sure if you can see them and see if I can bring it up a little closer. Because um, I pulled it right up out of the paint. You see there's some texture going on and some, really some blots of paint. Chunks of paint in there where the paint is thicker. So it, it lets you create texture and a thickness in some areas than in other areas. I would recommend um, adding, you can do that later. I usually like to add some matte medium to the canvas first, but you can add it last as a way to seal the paint. And this is acrylic paint, so it dries rather quickly. Thank you for joining me. Until next time.